So it's getting kind of crazy, and we want to put a stop to that. Matthew Taufate'e says enough is enough as he watches violence stun the Palolo community. In November of last year, 70 year old Thaddeus Perga Jr. was stabbed to death while selling newspapers on Wailai Avenue. In June, 45 year old Kenny Palago was gunned down at this Palolo convenience store, a store just targeted in an illegal gambling raid. This week, 43 year old Wilbur Gutierrez was indicted in the killing. Some friends of Palago say Gutierrez is lucky the police were the ones who caught up with him first. I was hoping that one of us find him. But then again, you know, I mean, we just leave it to the man upstairs to do his job. Street justice? Taufate knows it. He's lived it. And he says crime often follows crime. He used to be a security guard at similar game rooms on Oahu. Because I know how that operation runs with the, the illegal gambling and so forth like that. But I was just trying to bring everything out in the front so that we can try to prevent it from happening again. The deadly violence has prompted some neighbors in the community to organize a peace march. It's scheduled for early next month and will start right here on Palolo Avenue. So we just basically want to send a message out that this is a peaceful community. You know, although a lot of these things happen, but we want our community to know that they're safe. I think that's a good idea for the community. I don't know, it's, but it's, it's a good thing, you know, bring every, all the young, youngsters together. With all that has happened over the past few months in their neighborhood, the hope is to have as many people as possible participating in the Peace March. We just need more uh, residents to get involved, you know, to let them know what's going on in our community. Roger Mari, KITV4 News.